All right, good morning everyone. Uh, it's Alan Taylor. I'm here at the 14th tee at Rustic Canyon uh, doing the thing that I love the most, which is playing golf. Um, so what I'd like to do now is uh, give you my perspective on the golf swing, okay? Um, a proper golf swing is obviously going to uh, allow you to hit the ball further, not swinging it harder, okay? Um, so let me show you a couple things that I do. Um, so first we're gonna start with the grip. And I'm gonna show you my left hand here. So I'm gonna put the club right in the butt of my hand here and then wrap my index finger around it. And I think you can see um, the club is not in my palm like this, but it's actually in my fingertips, okay? And then when I bring the other hand around, you know, I'm an interlocker. You can overlap or you can interlock. So I'm an interlocker. But again, I don't put it in my hand like that, it, all the way in my hand, in my palm. I put it in my fingertips, and then I just wrap my hand uh, over, and that's basically the grip, okay? What they say you're supposed to do is just hold it like a, like a you know, like you're holding onto spaghetti or a noodle, right? Because what you want to do is allow the club to kind of move itself through the golf swing in the hitting zone and let your hands release. And so when you're holding onto the club wider, it allows you to do that. If you're manhandling the golf club and the, and the club's in your palms, you know, you're, you're, you're just trying too hard to kind of manufacture club head speed versus just letting it happen naturally um, through having the proper grip, okay? So that's step number one. Uh, step number two is your posture, okay? So, you know, start, start standing straight up, okay? Bend your knees just slightly, okay? Like literally just slightly. Okay, and then what you do, you keep your, you know, your feet are shoulder width apart, you bend your knees slightly, and then you just kind of tilt your body forward, maybe five, six, seven degrees, eight degrees. That's it. That is how you're supposed to stand. For a lot of you, it feels like you may be about to be falling over. The weight is supposed to be in the balls of your feet. So if the weight's in the balls of your feet, and you're properly balanced, and you know, you're, you're eight degrees bent over with slightly bent knees, it's gonna allow you to make that shoulder rotation and stay on plane. Okay, does everybody see that? So if I'm kind of hunched over, you know, my back is bent, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm gonna do all sorts of things. It's just gonna be hard for me to, you know, basically to stay on plane, okay? Um, another thing to talk about is, you know, a lot of people think to generate power, what you have to do is, you know, move your body laterally and swing through the ball, right? Like they just, a lot of people just kind of move, get back here and then they just kind of go, uh. um, you don't actually move your body laterally in order to generate club head speed, okay? You're actually supposed to pretend there's a, you know, oh, maybe a one inch, all good players move slightly laterally, okay, slightly. But let's just pretend there's about one inch to the right of your torso and one inch to the left of your torso. When you turn and move back, you should not be exceeding that one inch. So instead, what we're doing, okay, you know, you kind of pretend that your club is 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 on your you know your spine is here, and you kind of turn around the spine, okay? You turn around it, okay? You don't you don't move back that way. So that's that's a, a, a huge tip for making better contact with the ball. Um, let's talk about. Uh, lining up okay we'll use jack nicholas's method of lining up right so how do you how do you line up on the on the tee box right you look out you're like you think you're lined up properly but you're not quite sure so you know every tour player that you see on tv they always stand behind the ball right they go 10 feet behind the ball um they're taking a look out there uh, at the at their target and what they're doing is they're finding something that's no more than two three four feet in front of their ball that's on the same line as their target and so it's, it's, it's almost, it's like cheating. It's almost like taking a golf club and setting it on the ground and using that to line yourself up. So you have to have a method for lining yourself up, okay? Um, so you've got your grip, you've got your posture, you've got your alignment, you're now ready to make your golf swing, okay? Now, um, the golf swing itself is actually quite simple, okay? Um, you know, there's so many different things to talk about. You've heard so many different ideas and concepts and it's enough to make everyone crazy, okay? So, but let's just talk about, you know, the golf swing in, in two, maybe three steps total, okay? Now, 
all you all we're doing here with the backswing okay is setting the hands okay so i've got my posture set up i'm aligned i'm ready to go and the thing that i want to try to do is kind of set my hands so as i bring the club back slowly to here i start setting my hands if you see the the glove see how my hand is starting to set as i bring it back it's starting to set right now i'm you know my hands are just no more than about a foot from setup and the club is already starting to um you know i'm starting to create that v so see that v that i've created so i'm already starting to create it right so all i have to do is get my hands to about here and i create the v the rest from there is just a shoulder turn that's it that's it that's all you got to do so you just slowly bring your hands back start to set the club and then just turn okay so that's the easiest way for me to describe how to make the back how to make the backswing okay now it's time for the downswing okay we got to finish we got to we got to swing the club um the most important thing um that you can do is shift your weight from your right side to your left side right so obviously we, we we've taken the hands back we've rotated you know maybe we've got uh 70 of our weight is loaded onto our right foot maybe 65 70 percent but now I don't want to I don't want to stay on my back foot and swing like this I want to get through to the to the left side okay and and another thing to note is when you hit the ball right we're not um, swinging and, and getting our hands here at the hitting zone that's not what that's not what it looks like when the club is properly struck during the hitting zone when the, when I when, when when my body is you know straight when I'm at the hitting zone my hands are at the hitting zone Look where my club is. That's where the club is, right? So when I come through, my hands are probably two feet in front of the ball before the club even gets to the ball, right? So I wanna concentrate on, on moving my body through the swing, getting to the left side and allowing the club to kind of lag and come through. So I'm gonna show you a slow motion of the swing now. So I'm gonna set my hands just turn and then bring my hands through and get my weight all the way to my left side okay i'm going to show you a shot now let's see if i can do it See, it's not that hard. Take care. Have a great day.